statewide program geared at educating Rhode Island teen athletes on the dangers of enhancement drugs will start this year. The Rhode Island Interscholastic League is launching the program. This will affect thousands of student athletes across the state. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands joins us in the newsroom now with a story that's new at 530. The program is called Operation Clean Competition. I spoke with the executive director who deals with 25,000 athletes. He says educating them will discourage them from using performance enhancement drugs. For some, being a high school athlete could lead to a promising career in the pros. But on that path, athletic director Tom Mezzanotti says students can easily change direction just by picking up and using a performance enhancement drug. I think it becomes an issue. According to the U.S. Census Bureau and the Center for Disease Control, almost 700,000 high school students nationwide admitted to using steroids. Which is why, as director of the Rhode Island Interscholastic League, Mezzanotti pushed for funding to educate teen athletes about the severe negative impacts of using these types of drugs. It's very important. His efforts worked because his organization will receive a $75,000 grant from the state's largest nonprofit funder, the Rhode Island Foundation. Mezzanotti's group will work alongside another called the Taylor Hooten Foundation. That group was formed in memory of Taylor Hooten, a 17-year-old athlete who committed suicide as a result of taking steroids. Together, the two groups will go inside schools and out onto its fields to educate thousands of high school athletes across the state. It's something that becomes attractive to athletes, non-athletes, and I think our kids, I think our parents, and I think our schools need to know a little bit more about it. The program will start next school year in the fall. Reporting on the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.